The 52-inch Sussex 2 is a contemporary style ceiling fan with a modern brush nickel finish. The fan is rated for indoor use only and is remote control operated. The 52-inch blade span is perfectly suited for large rooms that are up to 20 feet by 20 feet. The fan can be installed on regular ceilings or ceilings with a maximum slope of 18 degrees. Use the menu to skip ahead or continue watching for the complete installation guide. To install the fan, you will need a UL listed outlet box that is for fan support of up to 35 pounds. You will also need a stepladder, screwdriver, wire stripper, and electrical tape. Begin by turning power off at the breaker. On the canopy assembly, twist and remove the canopy ring. Unscrew the non-slotted mounting bracket screws. Loosen the remaining two slotted screws. Remove the hanger bracket. On the hanger ball downrod assembly, loosen the set screw and lower the ball off the downrod. Remove the cross pin and the ground lead. On the fan motor assembly, remove the clevis pin and cotter pin. Loosen the two collar set screws. Guide the motor wires through the down rod and insert it into the collar. Align the holes and insert the clevis pin and cotter pin. Tighten the two collar set screws. Slide the coupling cover, canopy ring, and canopy over the down rod. Reinstall the hanger ball, being sure to tighten the ground lead, insert the cross pin, and secure the set screw against the side of the down rod. Use a wire stripper to shorten the length of the motor wires. At the ceiling box, loosen the two screws. Bring the hanger bracket up to the box and slide the slots over the screws. Tighten both screws securely. Carefully bring the fan motor up to the ceiling and place the hanger ball in the hanger bracket. Turn the motor until the groove in the ball aligns with the tab in the bracket. Bring the receiver up to the ceiling box. Now you can make the electrical connections. Use wire nuts to connect the ground wires from the down rod, hanger bracket, and ceiling box together. Connect the neutral wire from the ceiling box to the white wire from the receiver labeled ACNN. Connect the hot wire from the ceiling box to the black wire from the receiver labeled ACNL. Connect the white wire from the fan to the white wire from the receiver labeled 2 motor N. Connect the black wire from the fan to the black wire from the receiver labeled 2 motor L. Connect the blue wire from the fan to the blue wire from the receiver labeled for light. Wrap electrical tape around the connections to hold the wires in place and tuck into the ceiling box. Slide the receiver into the hanger bracket with the flat side facing up. Align and twist the canopy over the hanger bracket screws. Insert the removed screws and tighten all screws securely. Align and twist the canopy ring over the screws. The fan blades are now ready to install. Bring the reversible fan blade up to the motor and slide it into one of the slots with the desired side facing down. Align the holes, then secure it in place with three blade attachment screws. Repeat the process for the remaining blades. The light kit assembly can now be installed. On the motor's mounting ring, remove one of the screws and loosen the remaining screws. Bring the mounting plate up to the fan. Align and twist over the loose screws, then insert the removed screw and tighten all screws securely. Remove one of the screws from the mounting plate and loosen the remaining two screws. Bring the light kit up to the fan. Connect the black wire connectors and the white wire connectors. Align and twist over the loose screws, then insert the removed screw and tighten all screws securely. Install the two included LED bulbs. Bring the glass shade up to the fan. Align and turn into the light kit until snug. Power can now be restored at the breaker. The installation is complete and the fan is now ready to operate. If you are installing multiple fans or experiencing interference from other devices, the remote and receiver frequencies can be changed. Locate the dip switches on the receiver and change the dip switch code. 
Remove the battery cover on the remote and duplicate the code. The dip switch codes must match or the fan will not function. On the remote, install two AAA batteries. The power on off button toggles the fan and light at the same time. The fan speed button cycles through the different fan speeds. The fan can be set to high speed, medium speed, low speed, and off. The light button toggles the light on or off. Holding the button cycles through the different brightness settings. The Comfort Breeze button activates the Comfort Breeze function, a feature that produces a natural feeling breeze by alternating between lower and higher fan speeds. The Timer button turns the fan and light off after a certain amount of time has passed. The delay can be set to 2 hours, 4 hours, or 8 hours. Pressing the button the fourth time will deactivate the timer function. With the fan off, use the reverse switch on top of the motor to change the direction of the fan rotation. For warm weather, the fan will spin counterclockwise to push air downward and produce a cooling effect. For cool weather, the fan will spin clockwise to cycle warm air off the ceiling. Congratulations! You are now ready to use your brand new ceiling fan. For technical support and assistance, Call the customer service number in your owner's manual.